Hey, it's Greg at USB Motorsports. Today we're going to install our traction control button kit on a Mark 6 GLI. Uh, it's going to be the same installation for a Mark 6 Jetta as well as the new Beetle. I'm going to go through the tools you're going to need to complete the install. They're pretty much basic tools. First thing you're going to need is a T20 Torx. This is on an electric screwdriver, but if you have a normal screwdriver, T20 Torx bit is all you're going to need. Standard flathead screwdriver. A set of crimp connectors. A standard set of pliers. A pick tool. Now the last thing we're going to need, this is actually a steel welding rod. You can use a coat hanger, you can use a fish tape uh, that you use to run wires through uh, a household wall. Basically something that's going to assist you to run a wire through the firewall of the car. And you're also going to need some electric tape. You're not going to need too much, uh, but it's a good idea to have some electric tape. Included in our traction control button kit is the traction control button in either the rounded or squared version, whichever one you ordered. Included is the wire harness and the extended ABS control wire to run to the ABS control module and three T-TAP connectors. We're going to start by running our long yellow wire into the engine compartment. Uh, that's the wire that's going to go into the factory traction control harness. So we're going to start on the passenger uh, footwell area. We're going to remove the factory foam piece. You're going to see there's two flat head screw type connectors over here. Using a flat head screwdriver, we're going to remove these connectors. And then the foam piece will come out. We'll set that aside for now. From there, there's going to be a, a factory grommet that this harness is going to run to. That harness is located right behind the blower motor over here, up back here by the firewall. It's a little bit difficult to see. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to put a, a fish tape through there, or you can use a wire coat hanger something along those lines that way we can pull the wire through and it'll come out right behind the ABS module. So now we're going to run our fish tape through and then we'll go in the engine compartment and run our wire through. Now you can see where the fish tape came out it actually came out right behind the ABS control module this is the passenger side uh, rear section of the engine compartment what we're going to do now is take our long yellow wire that came in the kit. This side's going to go, this side with the connector is actually going to go into our ABS harness. And the other side needs to go into the car. So what we're going to do is take a small piece of electric tape. And we're going to go ahead and tape our yellow wire onto our fish tape over here. Now there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different things you can use to run the wire through the firewall. Uh, this is actually just a, a steel welding rod I'm using. Uh, this, is, this is a real easy tool to use to uh, run wires through the firewall. Like I said earlier, you can use a coat hanger or if you have like a fish tape for doing home improvement stuff in the house, you can use that as well. From here, we have it taped up on there. We're, gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and feed it back. And we'll finish off by pulling it through the firewall. Now we're gonna pull our fish tape through the firewall slowly and bring our yellow wire through. And we'll pull some of the slack. And now we'll go back up to the engine compartment and finish up. Okay, there. now that we have our wire routed into the passenger compartment, we're gonna unplug the ABS module over here. Go ahead and you're going to pull this connector up. As you pull it up, the connector is going to separate from the ABS module. And we're going to go ahead and bring the plug up here. Once we have the plug up here, we need to remove this uh, back cover. The way we're going to do this 
is you're going to see there's a there's two clips on each side that just need to be pushed in with a small flathead and then you're going to slightly pry up and then you're going to come over to the other side push one in push the second one in pop that out pop that out and our cover will come off and now we're going to be inserting the fact, our factory yellow wire, which we ran into the uh, passenger compartment of the car. We're going to go eight spots to the left of our big ground wire here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's going to be the last white plug right here. From there, we're going to need to remove that plug in there. The easiest way to remove the white grommet here is using a pick tool. Like this one, you're going to go in there and you're going to pinch it just like that and you're going to pull that out. And then you can save that in case you ever remove the traction control kit or you can discard it. Okay, so after we remove the grommet from that position, we're going to flip this over and you're going to see this colored connector here and it actually says close right there. You're going to take your pick tool and you're going to push that and if you look real close it actually says open. What that's going to do is allow us to install our added wire in there. So once we have that open, we're going to go ahead and take this, we're going to push this wire and you're going to hear it click. And as you can see, it's locked in place. Once it's locked in place, we're going to come back over here and we're just going to slide this back up. And that's going to lock our wire in place. Now we can come over here. We can push our little bushing down. Okay. We'll tuck our wire back there. And we'll put our cover back on. Just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now, just for a, a cleaner install, we're going to bring the wire over to this side over here. Make sure we have the little locking mechanism for the ABS control module pulled all the way up. We're going to put our connector down. Make sure it's lined up. And then we're going to push down and it's going to lock into place. From there we can tuck the rest of our yellow wire down and underneath the traction control module for a nice clean install. That's going to complete the installation under the hood. Now we're going to move inside the vehicle and finish up the install. Now we're back on the passenger side floorboard from here. We're going to take our yellow wire and we're going to route it underneath the carpet here and around under to this panel. Under here, and we'll leave it sticking out right there for when we complete our install. Now we're just gonna come back and we're gonna put our cover back in place. Now next thing we're gonna do is remove in the center console, we're going to remove the shifter cover over here. So you can just come over here. And it just pops out. Okay, we can pull this out of the way. You're going to see there's two torque screws here. These are T20 torques. We're going to remove those. From there, our cigarette lighter and our switch panel over here where our traction control button is going to go will come up and we'll be able to lift that out of place. Now once we're over here, you'll be able to unhook the cigarette lighter and unhook the auxiliary jack and this will slide out of place. Once we have it slid out of place over here, uh, this is a standard Jetta 
GLI model, so it doesn't have the start button over here. So we're just gonna pop this out. You can come look on this side. And we're just gonna pop the dead plug out. You can just push down on the top right there and it'll pop out. From there, we can take our traction control button. You can pop it into place. Come back over here, plug our harness in. And now we'll make all of our wire connections. Now this is the plug for the cigarette lighter. We're gonna go ahead and just peel some of the factory tape back, separate the wires. You'll see we have a brown wire and we have a black with a red stripe. The brown wire is gonna be our ground. And the other wire is gonna be our positive. We're gonna use two of the T-tap connectors that came with our kit. And we're gonna install one on each wire. The way you're gonna do that is position the connector like that. Close this up. And using a standard set of pliers, you're just gonna squeeze and you'll hear it clip. And then we'll take the second one and do the same thing on the other wire. Squeeze and you'll hear it click. From there on our traction control harness, our black wire is gonna plug into the brown wire. Just make sure the male connector in there is centered so it goes into the center of the T-top. We're gonna plug that in. And then we're gonna take our red wire and hook it into the black and red. Okay. Now all of our kits come with a longer orange wire. This wire is for the dimmer wire for the button. You got two options here. One is if you don't want it to be dim and you just want it to be on all the time, we can just wrap the extra length of the wire up here, like so, tie it up here, and then you can use the third T-tap connector, and we can just T-tap into our red wire over here. You can T-tap into this red wire like that, plug this connector in, and we'll be done with the install. However, most people want to hook up the dimmer wire, that way the illumination on the traction control gets brighter with the rest of the instrument cluster and controls and gets dimmer depending on your light setting. So we're going to demonstrate how to hook up the illumination wire in a second. So we're just going to leave this wire out and we're going to run it over to our headlight switch in a second. Next thing we're going to do is take our yellow wire, which we previously ran over here, and we're gonna push it up through the side connector here and grab it inside here and tuck it out of the way, just like that. Now here, our yellow wire on our harness already has a butt connector installed. So we're gonna take the yellow wire that came from the engine bay. You're gonna strip a little length off it. And we'll butt connect that and crimp it to the yellow wire from our harness. We're pretty much done with the install now. The last thing we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to run our illumination wire over to the headlight switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and you're going to take the orange wire over here towards the driver's side. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to push it down over here. And it's going to come out over here. And we'll go ahead and we'll pull the slack. Now we're going to go ahead and put everything back together over here. So now just for the sake of cleanliness, I'm going to take all of our extra lengths of wire here. And I'm just going to take some electric tape and make it look nice and clean. From here, make sure we got our 
cigarette lighter plug up here and our auxiliary jack from here. We'll go ahead and we'll slide this back in. Slide this back in here. We'll plug our cigarette lighter back in. Plug the auxiliary jack back in. We'll tuck our wire harness in there. This cubby will pop back into place. We'll put our two T20 torque screws back in. Take our shifter assembly, pop that back in. And now we're gonna go come over to the driver's side footwell area and we're gonna run our illumination wire. Our illumination wire is gonna be behind the headlight switch so we're gonna remove the headlight switch. The way you do that is with the headlight in the off position, you just push the switch in and turn it like you're turning the headlights on and the switch will come out. From here, we're gonna come down to the driver's side pedal area and we're gonna route our orange wire. We have our orange wire out like we ran previous. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna route it back up over here, sticking our hand back underneath the kick panel and we're gonna pull the slack through. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take our orange wire and we gotta route that up to the headlight switch area. There's a wire harness over here. We're gonna loop it over the wire harness that's under here so it doesn't dangle down. Then we're gonna come back behind the footwell vents. And then from there, we're gonna make our way up to the headlight switch. This panel over here, if we go ahead and pop this off for the fuse box. And come up right behind the headlight switch and we'll be in place there. Now you can see in the very top corner here we have a gray wire. That's going to be our, our illumination. Now we're going to have to pull the factory tape back just a little bit in order to separate it from the harness. Run about, back about an inch, now we'll be able to separate our gray wire from the harness. Once we do that, just like we did our other two wires, we're gonna put a T-tap connector on there. Squeeze it. And wait for it to click. Now we'll take the male connector and same thing. Take our male connector, plug it in there. And then we'll be able to tuck that in there. And reinstall our headlight switch. Now that wire we tapped into actually works off the factory dimmer. If you go up with the brightness on the dimmer, just like the rest of your uh, gauges and controls in the car get brighter, the traction control button will get brighter. If you go down and dim it, the traction control button will get dimmed. So now that we're complete with our install, we're going to go ahead and start the car. You can see our traction control button. There's no lights on. We'll turn our lights on. And as you can see, it lights up. We'll turn the illumination all the way up now, and you'll see the brightness. It's going to get brighter as we turn it up and then it's going to get dimmer as we turn it down. So it's going to match the factory cluster, the factory AC controls, the factory radio. It's going to match all of our controls the same as factory. And now we can look at our instrument cluster and you can see traction control ASR is deactivated. You can see our traction control light on over there indicating that traction control is off. And to turn it back on we'll press it again traction control ASR is activated and you'll see the light disappears.